Hey, uh, voice from the void. Um, before I start this vlog, I wanted to say a huge sorry because I had to get a new phone and I didn't have time to get a screen protector recently, so I was just using like the plastic that comes on the phone. So I left it on as like a little temporary screen protector and I didn't realize that it was covering a mic. So most of the footage until I realize is kind of fuzzy. So I'm so sorry and I hope you don't mind and I hope you can make it through this vlog because yeah, I'm so sorry. But I'm gonna leave them in anyways because Booktubeathon is important to me and so I wanted to uh, do this vlog anyways. So I hope you guys can bear it. I don't even know if I can bear editing it. But thank you for watching if you do. Welcome to my Booktubeathon 2018 vlog. I didn't think it was 2018 for a hot sec there. It is just after 12 and it is time to start reading. I'm so excited because last year I didn't really do Booktubeathon because I was moving back home to Belize like the day that it started and then I just didn't, I was really into my TBR and so yeah. But this year I feel like I really need to redeem myself. So I'm trying really hard. So I accidentally slept till like 3.30 today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be up for a long time. So basically, um, to start off the book two is on, we're gonna be staying up all night and all day so that I can hopefully fix my reading schedule. I am literally the worst at sleeping, so great. But yeah, so the books that I had in my TBR, I'm not completely feeling all of them anymore. So the first book that we are going to be reading will be determined by a coin toss. I said it right. Um, watch my TBR if you don't understand. Coin toss, that's what we're doing. So I was thinking between The Cool Prince, because I'm already halfway through that book, halfway through that since I think it was December, and I'd be getting a bunch of my holds in from my library, so I've just been flooded with a bunch of different books that I did not have on my TBR. So I think I might be replacing, well I am, because it's time to do it now, I'll be replacing Sword and Verse, sadly, because I feel like I want more time to read that, and also... I want to read it physically. We're going to switch that out with Ace of Shades for book with green on the cover. So we're either going with an audiobook, Ace of Shades, or the physical book, um, Cool Prints. And I really hope it's an audiobook because I have to clean my room and fold my laundry. I've been putting on folding my laundry because my finger hurts so bad. But you don't really care. So let's toy cost, the toy cost, the toy cost. Flip this coin. I cannot, I'm so afraid to say you that now. I can't. Oh wait, freaking hell, I'm an idiot. I didn't even say which is which. For heads, we're gonna go with Cool Prints, and for tails, Ace of Shades. Ooh, heads. What are those heads again? The Cool Prints, oh great. So, we're definitely gonna get that done. This is like the only book I feel like is a set book that will be done. I actually have two copies of Cool Prints. I have in like my arc, a finished copy. Of it but I've been reading the arc and I got to page 183 and like I said in my TBR I it's so hot oh my god I remember pretty well what happened in this book so I'm not gonna start from the beginning I'm just gonna continue on from where I left off I'm being really confident in myself here so we're gonna start the cool prints and hopefully I can finish this I just want to get this done okay and I really want to be successful at this readathon and since we're doing an all-nighter, I figured it should be a great, like, first start to the book a thon even though I have a whole week. I just want to, like, get a good start so that I feel motivated throughout the week, hopefully. Also, I have a box of books coming in the mail tomorrow for me, so I feel like some of those books might be replacing my aforementioned TBR, but we'll see. Let's get started! Okay, I'm so excited about reading right now because after reading Sky in the Deep, and I loved it so much, I love reading. And so, yeah. probably start at the beginning of the chapter just so I can really remember where I'm at. 
Sometimes. So I stopped doing my school friends back in December because she was about to do something stupid. And like I couldn't remember recently what it was. And now memory has been refreshed and I just don't want to go through this. Like why do you have to, like I know things are going to go wrong, but let's see if they do. And I like want to skim ahead to see if I'm right, but um, if I do that, then I'll be discouraged to actually read it. So, help me. Okay, it was my thought as I thought. I fell asleep. I forced myself to sleep because I was like, you know what? I don't think I'll make it through the day. Yeah, so here's my book. I slept my contacts in, so I slept with my contact. If you anything in my contact hair, that is not good at all. My finger still really hurts, and I, yeah, holding on my book was such a struggle. It doesn't look like it got that much further, but. <laughs> Woo! The cool friend. I'm powering through it. There are things that I have like, it's just like little things that I'm just like a little bit annoyed about um, here and there. I kind of want to go to a coffee shop, but do I? Okay, so I've just been like fooling around for uh, too long and I haven't been reading. So we're gonna have a change of scenery and go to a coffee shop. And you get some coffee, because uh, I love coffee. So I just went to a bookstore in Midtown called Book Off, which I've been to before and I got some pretty good things from there, but I haven't been to it in a while because I always avoid Midtown because usually I feel really like out of place, but I don't know, it feels very nice today. But I went back again today and they had so much good stuff for so cheap. So they have like a section of like $1 stuff and I found a couple of things, like, like two books for me and one for my mom I thought she might like. I don't actually know if she'll like it. But I found The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon for a dollar, hardcover. And then they had True, no, Sight Witch, which is the second book in the Truth Witch, Witch series. And I love that series. I read it earlier this year and it was $5, but I'm like, I shouldn't get it, but I want to, but uh, I didn't get it. But maybe tomorrow I might come back and get it because I just, I want it. It was only five bucks and I have the first book and they also had The Blade and the Bird or something like that. Is that what it's called? I don't know, I just saw it recently and I have a hold on it at my library for audiobook, but it was only five bucks there as well. But anyways, um, blogging in public, who am I? But I'm currently still reading. The Cool Prince because I'm the slowest reader in the world. I'm just really sidetracked always. But finally, great things are happening. By great, I mean intense, crazy things that I absolutely love. But still, the main character is still kind of annoying me, but let's hope she steps up in this part. Um, it's like book two, uh, so <gasps> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm literally the slowest reader in the world and I look wrecked. I'm like, I 
wish I could read faster. Like, I just want to know what happened. And then I also want to, like, move on because I want to be, like, achieving things. So, <laughs> we're doing great. So, I spent a long time, like, more than an hour talking to my mom because something happened earlier today that I don't really want to mention, family stuff. But, as so I talked to her for, like, forever, and so I haven't gotten any reading done, really. I wanted to finish this book yesterday. It's already the next day, Tuesday. Day two, book two is on. Here we are. Oh my gosh, you know what I didn't say in my TBR that I like regret so hard? Book two is on is upon us. Cause I said that in my first and second book two is on TBR videos. And I forgot to say it in my third one because I had to redo the intro of that video so many times because I just couldn't speak. Anyways, that doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> At page 336 of 370 pages, I think, of this book. I don't have too much left, but at the same time, I'm like, I really should sleep. Testing, does it work now? I hope I fixed it. I'm so mad. All my clips have had bad audio. I th <laughs> I'm so sorry. This lighting is honestly terrible and I can't even see anything. Hello, I'm wearing an I Love San Francisco t-shirt because my friend Colin, shout out to Colin, um, is from San Francisco and he went home recently and so he sent me this. Even though I've never been to San Francisco, I love it. Anyways, um, so this is the second day of Booktoothon as we've already started this, but I slept in really long and then I just had a really terrible day afterwards, you know? Everybody has those days. It did delay me a lot in reading and finished reading, but I just finished The Cruel Prince. Yeah, I'm so sorry about the terrible audio from yesterday. Like, <laughs> whatever, I feel so embarrassed, but whatever, <laughs> moving on. I just finished The Cruel Prince. I gave it a four out of five stars. Uh, I don't even know. This is the first physical book that I finished this year, but the funny thing, there's a moth in here. Anyways, this is the first physical book that I finished this year, but I started this last year in December, so that's a weird way for it to count. What is this moth doing? Do you want to go out? But I really want to make a cake right now. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some cake mix because why not? It's also Harry Potter's birthday today, so that's exciting. So moving on, what am I gonna read next? I really wanna read Seafire, but I think I need an audiobook right now, so we shall see. Blackstone Publishing presents Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. This book is read by Saskia Malavelt. I literally do not come out with my uh, glasses only because like I can't see with them and it honestly drives me crazy. It feels like I'm going wide. Oh my god, why do I do this to myself, especially at night? Sometimes blue eyes. I just realized that I never even said what I thought about The Cruel Prince. But basically, I still really was annoyed at some points. There were like things that I didn't really enjoy about it. And I didn't really like the main character most of the time. Not until like the very end was I like, okay, she's fine. Or she, like she grew, growth, you know, that's always important. But like one of my favorite things in fantasy, high fantasy is like the danger of everything and the, when things are going like political intrigue things are going wrong or like the main character or whoever we're like following perspective from is like achieving things i'm like yes that's what i love and so finally in the end it started picking up and like going the way i liked and that i was enjoying so in the end i gave this book a four out of five stars just because some of the stuff i didn't really enjoy but i <laughs> i want to read the next book now because i want to see where it's gonna go yeah i enjoyed it and i don't know why i had such a little faith in it but i guess it was because it was so overhyped like this phone in okay love when the frame changes hi wall i've read uh the the coldest girl in coal town by holly black before and i really enjoyed it i thought it was a very interesting urban fantasy nothing too serious and so i was interested to see something else by holly black and i also haven't read that many fae fairy books and i didn't realize that so this was nice but yeah i'm trying to figure out what i want to read next i was like gonna start ace of shades but then i started it and i was like i'm not really in the mood for this i really want like a high fantasy again so i was just looking at the books that i got recently and I don't know which one to read because I want to read high fantasy, but I also like some of these sound pretty intriguing. I had said I wanted to read Seafire, but 
upon reading the description, I think I'll leave this for a little bit later. I don't know. But like, the only thing that's like really like caught me like in this moment, like with my current mood, even though I want to read all of these books because they all sound pretty interesting, is this beautiful book. It's already out. It's called the, I like really intensely looked at it. Like I didn't know what this was called. This is The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. Sally Green also wrote Half Bad, which I read last year as well. And I really enjoyed that. I think I vlogged during me listening to that but the only thing about this book is that it's so big it is 532 i will never finish this by the time this readathon is up but i like i really want to read this right now we follow five different characters one is a princess one is a soldier a servant a demon hunter and a thief and somehow their lives intersect because they have stolen this like smoke Thing. I don't know. As war approaches, they must navigate a tangled web of political intrigue, shifting alliances, and forbidden love in order to blah blah blah. Whatever, you know? Uh, this sounds like what I really want right now, so do I read it? I don't know, it's so big. But then also, what was even on my TBR? I don't even remember. I, okay, I've already done my one challenge, but I'm so proud of myself. Um, but it was a letter toying. I literally was gonna. <laughs> a lot of coin toss decided to first read. So I did a challenge, yay me. Read a book about something you want to do. Where did I even have The Cruel Prince under? I think it was like under like seven books that I wanted to read. Read it and watch a book to movie adaptation. I think I'm gonna do Call Me By Your Name later in the week um, since I'm already like halfway through that. Yeah, so I don't know what to read next, but I think this will be it, even though this is huge and this will take me literally forever if I don't read it every single second of my being. So we shall see. And then I'm gonna check what I have on audiobook, what I can like get very soon. But yeah, I will probably sign off for today and I'll see you on Booktubeathon day three.